welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Jessie, also known as Miss Cherry. And today I have a really exciting video for you. I am working with HalloweenCostumes.com, just like I did last year to bring you some fun Halloween costumes and also to review them, talk about how they fit, what I thought about them. Also, they have given me a link for you guys to use. So if you click the link down below, it's going to give you a percentage off of your total purchase. And some of these costumes were so amazing and I'm so excited to be sharing them with you today. And not only is it me that's gonna be sharing my costumes, but it is my sweet cat, Telly Belly, is also gonna be joining me in reviewing these costumes for you as well. we're gonna start with the human costume and we're gonna start with this really awesome Care Bears costume. Now something to note about my body, I am very tall. I am 5'10 and I am a size 12. So I ended up getting this Care Bears costume which I thought was super duper adorable in an extra large. So let's roll the tape. Here is the Care Bear costume. Firstly, I just have to say this thing is so comfortable and it is so oversized. And the quality of this onesie was so amazing. Like the detail of the belly and the hands. I was so impressed with how well this was made. So see the little hearts on the hands and then it's got this really pretty embroidery on the stomach. Cheer Bear is my favorite Care Bear. You'll have to let me know down below what your favorite Care Bear is. It even has little Care Bear heart on the booty and these really cool like feet covers that look like bare feet and really cute little ears on the top of the hood. Now, just like last year's video, I'm going to be giving this a rating and we call it a spoopy bat rating. And that's anywhere from one being the least uh, great and five being the absolute most ultimate costume. So I am going to give this costume a four out of five spoopy bats, mainly because it was a little bit too big and it was very hot. So if you're gonna be at like an outdoor Halloween event, this is the thing to wear. Like I was fully clothed underneath there and it was just, I mean, as a person who's 5'10", it is very rare to find a costume that is long enough. And this was way too long for me and way too big for me, but it was like the most cozy costume ever. And it was so soft and so well made. Like I have never had a onesie costume that was this well made. So well done Halloween costumes. I loved that. <laughs> so we are moving on to Telly Belly's strawberry costume. So this is a dog costume. I call it a pet costume. Um, it did have like a dog on the packaging. So let's go ahead and roll the footage of Telly in her strawberry costume. Here is Telly Belly in her strawberry costume. <laughs> Um, I, I think she looks adorable. As you can see, the costume is a little bit big on her. We followed the measurements exactly, and they were just a little bit too big. But as you can tell, like the hat on her is really comfortable. She's looking around. Generally, when she gets in costume, she like sits down for a minute, and then she kind of gets a little more comfortable and moves around a little bit. But I thought this was super duper adorable. Let's show her where she's sitting up to see a little bit better. So here's where she's sitting. So you can see kind of the costume is a little bit too big for her, but I do think that that's because she is a little bit shorter than a dog would be. But as you can see, when she stands up, it looks so much like a strawberry on the side. And I think she was such a sport and such a cute little strawberry baby. The perfect accessory for a Lotso costume. <laughs> is she like the cutest? <laughs> so since Telly isn't a human. And I was trying to think of like a rating system that would work for her costumes. She's terrified of the vacuum. So we're gonna give her costumes a rating of spooky vacuums. <laughs> and so for this costume, I'm going to give it a three out of five spooky vacuums, mainly because I thought the sizing was a little bit off. 
Um, it was really, really, really big. She was like all the way on both Velcro items, all on both Velcro uh, places, all the way as tight as she possibly could be. And it was still, she was still a bit swimming inside of it. Uh, I will say it's very, very well made, very, very well made. And it is so soft. I wish I would have cut off the tag that's on the little top strawberry, but she wore this really well. She seemed very comfortable and I just wish I would have gotten it in a smaller size. I did follow the sizing chart that was on the website but it just didn't quite work out for her costume, which that happens. So just be aware of this. I You may want to consider sizing down just because it does have two adjustable straps on there. The next costume I was really excited about just because I thought that this costume would be the perfect cos costume to be like the Haunted Mansion Bride, Constance Hatchaway. It's called The Haunting Beauty and I thought it looked so spooky and so perfect for that type of costume. So let's go ahead and roll the tape. I wanted to love this costume so badly, but the sizing was so painfully off that it was like comical. When I pulled this out of the packaging, it seriously looked like it was made for a person who was a size four and I followed the measurements exactly on the website. So it was kind of unfortunate. It is a beautiful costume, but it was definitely more than a foot too short and probably the tightest thing I have put on my body in an extremely long time. Um, but I do love the flowiness of the sleeves and I also like how it looks. I think that my expectations were just a little bit different than what I got with this outfit. Okay guys, <laughs> I have a lot to say about this costume. So I'm gonna give this costume a two out of five spooky bats and let me explain myself. So as I mentioned earlier, I am very, tall um, but I used the sizing chart and I got an extra large and the sizing chart has like a bust waist and hips everything was my proportion it, I fit within that realm and oh my gosh this thing was skin tight and it was about a foot and a half too short <laughs> you'll notice like on the model on the picture it shows it like super long it was not that way. I mean, you saw the tape. It was not that way for me. I was super, I was super disappointed. I really wanted this to be like a winner and I really wanted this to be one that like I could wear out. But honestly, it was so, so tight. I just don't think I could wear it out and like feel comfortable and confident in it. So I would say if you're interested in getting this costume, I would size up two or three sizes. <laughs> like I feel like if I would have gotten a 2X, it might have worked for me. Like it was that tight. Like I was, I couldn't wear any undergarments under it. And I was also super afraid that I was going to rip the costume. And my husband actually had to like, like shimmy it down my body. It was like a, it was like a sausage case. <laughs> Have you ever experienced that before? It's like, it's humiliating. <laughs> so anyway, it's okay. This costume didn't work for my body. It didn't work for me. There's nothing wrong with that. It still is a beautiful costume. It was still very good quality. It looks so much fuller in the pictures. So that's just something to keep in mind. But yeah, it was kind of a miss for me. The next costume is a Telly Belly costume and oh my gosh, <laughs> she, the freaking cutest. This is a dog <laughs> Jasmine costume and yes, it does come with a wig and why don't we just roll the tape? Introducing to you Princess Jasmine. How cute does she look in this costume? This is a two-piece costume and the detailing and glitter on this costume is so pretty. So it does come with a wig that has like this long ponytail. As you can see, she's got like a black arm. Uh, so it's a little bit hard to see against like her little black arm, but she's got a little headband and this is the same type of headdress as the strawberry. So it was very comfortable on her. 
I have to say for like the cost of this costume, I was so impressed with the quality and detail that came with this. Like it's got a little jewel on her chest and there's a little jewel on her headband and a jewel on her little skirt. And she seemed very comfortable with it. It was just a little bit snug on her is my only feedback. So for this costume, I'm going to give it a four out of five spooky vacuums. And let me explain myself. It would have gotten a five out of five, but it was very, very tight on her. So I would actually say that you want to size up in this because it did not have like the Velcro could not really be moved. It had to stay in one central location. So she fit the measurements of a medium, but I should have gotten her a large. Now, <laughs> surprisingly, the wigs are designed so well. So inside the wig, there are two little triangles of elastic and then a chin strap. And so it let her little ears breathe. And so she was fine with wearing it, which I thought was really awesome. I thought they designed this costume so well and it's such good quality. I was so, so pleased with this costume and I think she looked absolutely adorable in it. I would highly recommend the Disney Princess costumes. I would just go ahead and size up for your animal just to make sure, just in case, because uh, it's easier to take it in than it is to take it out. Um, and so... <laughs> Well done, HalloweenCostumes.com. They also have like a Snow White one. They had a bell. They had a ton of Disney princess like dog costumes. It was real nice. <laughs> Would your cat wear a costume? I've had so many people tell me that they can't believe that Telly is so tolerant of what we do here. And so I'm, I feel very lucky because I think it's so adorable when she dresses up. I just think that she looks so darn cute. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the next costume. And the next costume happens to be this ridiculous BB-8 inflatable costume. So this was a one size fits all adult costume and let's just roll the tape. Oh, this costume is so silly. I love BB-8. He's my favorite Star Wars character and this is just the funniest costume. It is so large. Like I wish I could explain how big it is. And it's got this really awesome fan inside of it. So it keeps it really nicely inflated, even though your arms and legs are out of it. And you can crouch down and it makes you look like, <laughs> like a droid. It is just, it's very silly. And I think it's a little bit hard to see out of. So you can see there's like some mesh on the front of that window. That's a little bit difficult to see out of. But I think this could be a Halloween party favorite with this very, very silly droid costume. Is that the silliest costume? I'm going to give this costume a four out of five spooky bats. And the reason why is because it's a little bit too short on me. So again, I'm 5'10". So if you're a little bit shorter, it's going to fit you just perfect. But my head kept like kind of pushing up. It's actually very um, nice in there. It's like kind of almost air conditioned. And it did come with like this really nice gray shirt. So it stuck really nicely to like the sleeve so you could like move your arms around and stuff and not worry about like the air escaping from your armholes. The only thing that I will say is this, if you're wearing this to like a party, you're not gonna be able to eat or drink. You're gonna have to like fully get out of your costume and then like zip back into it. So just bear that in mind. And another thing too, is that you're gonna wanna wear like pants where you can like put something into the pocket because the fan, uh, controller the like the remote is actually loose in there and so it has like a clip where you can clip it onto a pocket or your pants wear pants <laughs> It's a little bit heavy, so that's why I'm mentioning it. So if you wore like sweatpants, it might like kind of pull your sweatpants down a little bit. And it's really hard to adjust your clothing inside of there because you're gonna have to like pull your arms out and then adjust inside. But this is like a perfect Star Wars fan costume. I thought it was super fun. You'll have to let me know down below if this is something that you would ever wear. I know that it's probably something that is very niche, uh, but I, I thought it was funny nonetheless. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
<laughs> now this next costume is not really like a full-blown costume but it's me and Telly it's like a matching human slash cat costume and we are little pumpkins it's like little pumpkin headdresses so let's roll the tape Kelly was being a little bit dramatic in this clip. She kept like throwing her little head back. But something I will say about this particular headdress for her is they made a ton of room for her little ears to still be able to stand up. So I don't know if you can tell, but she didn't have to like pull her ears back. It's the perfect like photo opportunity little outfit. Now that costume, I'm going to give a 5 out of 5 spooky vacuums. I thought Telly looked so adorable in that. And actually, it was so nice and loose on her little chin and around her ears that she did not shake her head. She did not move. She loved it. She she wore it around the house there for a little bit afterwards. So I was I was pretty impressed by it. And for me, it was a very comfortable and very lightweight. Um, I don't love things that are like, like this, but it made for a super cute picture of Telly and I, and sometimes you gotta do it for the gram, and this is one of those outfits that you gotta do it for the gram. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, is my most favorite costume of the entire video. It is called the Spooky Board Beauty. Now, I'm just gonna roll the tape and we'll talk about it afterwards. Here is the costume. I absolutely loved it. I thought it was the most flattering and super unique costume. It's made out of a cotton dress at the bottom and then there's a little bit of elastic in the bodice portion, but it was so comfortable and so flattering. It had so many cool details on it too, including like this really neat headband with an eye and the little hands kind of mimicked the Ouija board uh, piece that moves around the board, which I thought was really cool. And then the yes and no at the top represented the top of the Ouija board. And it's got this really nice like spider web organza detail in the sleeves and the bodice. And then there's these little fleur-de-lis patterns. And as you move down the dress, it has a red sash. And then you get down to the actual Ouija board portion. It is super cute. I love it so much. I'm definitely going to be wearing this again. And I also love the little skeleton detail. I love this costume. I'm going to give it a five out of five spoopy bats. Now, I have to tell you that I got this in an extra large. I thought it looked so so beautiful on. It reminds me of like a 1950s-esque sort of fit and flare dress, which is flattering on all body types. And I'm a big fan of like a Ouija board and all things spooky. And I thought the accessories with the headband, as well as it matching the um, eye of the dress and the like red sash, it was everything. Like I could wear that to a Halloween event. I could wear that to a Halloween party. It was just everything. Like this is going to get used again and again. I can't say enough good things about this costume. And I, one thing that I wish that I would have done is I wish I would have put a petticoat underneath it because I do think that it would flare out so beautifully. So all I have to say is, well done, well done on that costume. So those were all of the Halloween costumes that we tried on this year. You'll have to let me know down below which one was your most favorite. You guys know which one my favorite was. I also really, really liked the Care Bear costume too. It was just so high quality and so well made. I'm totally gonna wear that just for fun around the house, that's for sure. <laughs> But anyway, guys, if you're interested in getting uh, your Halloween costumes at a discount, be sure to hit that uh, link down below and go and check out all of the costumes. The thing I love about HalloweenCostumes.com is they are size inclusive up to 5X, which I absolutely love. And I always enjoy working with their company. So thank you again to HalloweenCostumes.com for sending me these great costumes. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Also be sure to subscribe down below and I will see you guys in the next video. TTFN, bye.